All right, in this video, we're gonna go over the Python choice function. Uh, this is gonna be kind of similar to the randint function in its usage, uh, except instead of getting a random integer, we're gonna get a random element from a sequence. Uh, and the sequence, uh, there's a ton of different sequences in Python, but the ones that we're mostly gonna be using are lists or strings. All right, so uh, this choice function comes from the random module. So again, it's not a built-in function. It's something that you have to import the random module in order to use. Uh, so we're gonna get a random element from a list. And so the syntax for this, very straightforward, choice and then parentheses, the sequence. So this could be a list or string uh, that you're trying to get a random element from. All right, so if we try to use this, we could say from random import uh, choice, and then we could go ahead and use this. So if we want to test choice, we could make a list or a string that we're gonna um, choose the random element from. So we can make a list. Again, uh, the list, uh, if, if you're gonna make a list called list, you can't call it list because list is one of those special words in Python. If we go down here and write the word list, right, it turns up in a different color because it's one of those reserved words. So you cannot name your, your list, list. So don't forget about that. But so if we wanna name a list, list, we can just take out the I and call it uh, list. Uh, and we can say maybe uh, A, uh, B, C, and D. And then we could say print choice from this list, which we've called list. And so if we go ahead and save and run this, uh, this chooses item D. Again, that's really not proof that this was random, so we could try this with a for loop. Uh, we could do 10 of these maybe, whoops. And, okay, so if we go and run this, you see we get a bunch of random numbers. We have a bunch of Bs in a row here. Again, the random module, uh, basically any of the functions in the random module, such as the choice function, uh, are not gonna be perfectly random, but they're a pretty good approximation of random. Again, we could try and run this again. You'll see we got a bunch of random letters here from our list. Again, with four of them, you're gonna have a bunch of repeats. Uh, so this is a pretty useful function. Uh, the workaround that we talked about in the randint video for choosing a random color, this would obviously be a much better way to do that um, because you could just put all of the colors in your list and then not have to you know, write a more uh, extensive code using the randint workaround to assign each color to a number. Uh, so really, if you're gonna choose a random uh, item from a list uh, or a string, this is really the way to do it uh, using the choice function. All right, thanks for watching this video and I'll see you in the next one.